when you fix your eyes on Jesus, there are more benefits to it than when you don't fix your eyes on Him. When you Hi, Alice. Oh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yes, welcome back to our channel. No, not my channel. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to our channel once again. Welcome back. So, you all, before I introduce myself, let me just gist you all what just happened right now. So, I was setting up for today's video, and while setting up, I was about to wear my, my face mask. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been wearing masks so much that I it felt like I needed to use my mask to film this video. Can you imagine? <laughs> Anyways, that's by the way. So yeah, welcome back to our channel once again. Welcome back. My name is Happiness Edna Tony Bombs and on this beautiful channel, I film about a lot of things. Yes, I just realized that I film about a lot of things. Faith, lifestyle, food, about the Philippines, about how <laughs> I react to music videos. What is it I go to on this channel? Basically, we do everything on this channel. So yes, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another day of our word for the week. And of course, I'm so, so excited, extremely excited. And I hope you're excited too. Oh, happy Sunday and happy first Sunday of the month. Yes, happy first Sunday of the month of July. And I hope you all went to church and I hope you're having a great day. All right, so let's go straight up into today's word. Our Bible verse will be taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Hebrews 12, verse 2. How is it in my head? Is this looking onto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith? But I'm going to read from the Amplified Bible translation or version. And it says here that looking away from all that will distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith. The first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity, who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority and the completion of his work. Hebrews 4 verse 2. But now you all, the main part I really want to talk about today is looking away from all that would distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus. Now you know that we are in a world whereby there are so many things to look onto. You can either choose to look onto your problems, your challenges, your family background, what's going on right now in the world and so many things. You can choose to look on those things. But here, the Bible says that we should keep our eyes away from things that will distract us. Whether we like it or not, your challenges your issues what's going on right now everywhere in the world are distractions okay so he says look away from those things and fix your eyes on jesus we have to fix our eyes on jesus because why jesus is the perfecter of our faith he is the one that knows our tomorrow he is the one that knows how our life is going to be in the next two years in the next five years in the next six years in the next seven ten eleven keep counting years while we are still here on earth so our reminder here today is Shift your eyes away from your issues. Shift your eyes away from the things that are going on right now in the world. Trust me, those are distractions. And fix your eyes on Jesus. So this new week, this month of July, okay, this year to one and more years to come, try your best to remove your focus from the things that you're facing, your issues, your challenges, whatever it is. Shift your eyes away from them and just fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus and watch Jesus do great and mighty things for you. And I feel like that part of fixing your eyes on Jesus is kind of like connected to the verse in Matthew 6, verse 23 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. So there's one thing about fixing your eyes on Jesus. You know, when we fix our eyes on our problems, we can't get anything in return from it. Instead, we get more worried, we get more sad, we get more depressed, we get more frustrated, we get more confused, we get more down, you get. But then when you fix your eyes on Jesus, it is way different. It is different because when you fix your eyes on Jesus, you're telling him that, Jesus, 
I know I have a lot of issues I'm facing right now. I know I have a lot of problems I'm facing right now. But then, I'm trusting you that while I'm fixing my eyes on Jesus, you would help me fix those issues. You would help me fix those problems. You would help give answers to my questions. You would help give answers to my prayers. So do you get it? So when you fix your eyes on Jesus, there are more benefits to it than when you don't fix your eyes on Him. When you don't fix your eyes on Him and you choose to fix your eyes on what is going on right now in the world, you just get more confused, more sad. There'll be no solution at all. So my encouragement here for you today again is this week, this new month, this year and more years to come, please fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on the one who owns your future. Fix your eyes on the one who knows your tomorrow. Fix your eyes on the one who knows where, we, where you would be in the next 10 years. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Again, fix your eyes on Jesus. Somebody said fix your eyes on Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Fix your eyes on Jesus because why? He is the author and the perfecter of our faith. Okay? So yes, yeah, that is it for our word for the week for today. I hope you all were blessed. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I do appreciate you. Have a great day. Have a blessed evening. Have a beautiful week. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you the grace to fix your eyes on Him and Him alone. I love you all so much and see you all next week Sunday on another day of our word for the week.